My name is Bridget Cahillan, and I'm one of the outreach librarians for the New York Public Library. I am not the main person who put this event together. That honor should go to Fotis Flavatomos. He is a visiting Fulbright artist. It's been a pleasure having him here, and he has really opened up the world of art to a lot of people with blindness and low vision in the New York area. And we're grateful to him. He's working with us at the New York Public Library, which explains part of why the New York Public Library, or specifically the Andrew High School Library, is sponsoring this event. And I'd like to acknowledge uh, Ned Richards over here on my right, your left, and he is the uh, assistant head of this library here. And thank you for helping us hold this event here today. And now I'll just introduce the panel. Our moderator is Jessica Jones. She is an art teacher at the Lavelle School for the Blind. She teaches students aged three and a half to 21. She's constantly looking for new experiences for her students and feels that art must be accessible to all people at the same level. Next we have Olivia Swisher, and Olivia is an artist, and she's also the coordinator of adult and accessibility programs at the Solomon R. Guggenheim. Next we have Melanie Adsit, who has worked in the education department of the Whitney Museum of American Art since 2004. She currently teaches the museum's school access and senior programs. She's also worked in the education departments of MoMA, the Guggenheim, the Morgan Library, and the Queens Museum of Art. Next, we have Deborah. Deborah is an artist. She loves teaching the drawing classes. She teaches at the college level, besides teaching at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. She also teaches at colleges in Westchester. She really believes that drawing is good for people to learn drawing and do drawing in so many ways. And I'm sure you'll hear a bit more about that. Next we have Pamela Lawton. Pamela is an artist and she works with the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Her multi-paneled paintings have reflected the height of the World Trade Center, the cacophony of Times Square, and the rhythm of the Indian Ocean all places she has painted with zeal. Inspired by her students, she shares art-making practices with them, including in the galleries of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, where her favorite class is seen through drawing, and in the Andrew High School Library, where today she is honored to be teaching a class amidst the large print books. Then we have Rebecca McGinnis at the end of the tables there has overseen the access and community programs at the Metropolitan Museum of Art for a number of years. She's currently going for a PhD in cognitive psychology. Uh, she herself is partially sighted. I say she's an artist, although she insists that she isn't because she has done one of these beautiful uh, drawings in here, one of these works of art, and it's definitely the work of an artist. So we're ready to begin now, and after the panel discussion, we'll talk a little bit about the rest of the day and move forward. I give you now to Jessica. Jessica Jones, take it away.